In this list, we have apps, websites, and extensions that are gonna help you be a better YouTuber. Starting with, if you want a free and easy to use app for editing your videos that will allow you to do keyframing and all kinds of pro level things, pretty much all the things that you need to make cool videos, Video Leap is still the video editing app of choice if you're on an iPhone. But if you're on an Android, you will wanna check out VLLO. It's an awesome app for Android that will also let you do all of the stuff that you need to do to put your videos together on your phone. This next one is for Twitter, and the reason that it's important is because as a YouTuber, it's important to share your own stuff on your social media from time to time because those people that are following you are probably a good fit for your content. Just so you know, quite some time ago, Twitter acquired a service called TweetDeck, and the really cool thing about TweetDeck that is now built into Twitter is it allows you to schedule posts and actually manage multiple Twitter accounts, which as a content creator, this can also be really important. Here's why. You might have two YouTube channels or three YouTube channels or a personal Twitter account and and a YouTube channel Twitter account or a business Twitter and a YouTube Twitter, you get the idea. TweetDeck will help you check all of those accounts at once. It'll help you manage all the messages in those accounts, everything under one page without you having to log in and out of accounts all the time. TweetDeck is free, which makes it even cooler. All you have to do is go to the TweetDeck URL when you are going to Twitter instead of going to twitter.com. And it's pretty easy to use setup and all of that stuff that's important to us as people that are using the tool. Next on the list is for live streamers. If you're doing a live stream where you're showing anything Thing at all on your screen. If you're training, you're showing how to stuff, you're just having conversations with people and you wanna pull up websites or YouTube channels or whatever, there's a little extension that I use called Page Marker that lets me actually mark on the screen while I'm live. Page Marker is also free, but the really cool thing about Page Marker is it just helps you bring attention to what it is that you're actually focusing on. Because if you're streaming and you're trying to point to something, obviously people aren't gonna see what you're pointing to. So when you use Page Marker, it helps you actually highlight what it is that you wanna bring attention to. Now this next one I mentioned in a video a while back while it was still in beta, but now it's officially open. This tool will help you with your workflow, everything from writing scripts to making sure that you're hopping on trends to answering comments in bulk, all kinds of really awesome features for YouTubers that help you simplify and optimize your workflow around producing content. The name of the tool is called Tube Spanner. And like I said before, one of the really awesome things about it is their trend spotter, where it'll help you identify trending topics in your particular niche. And if you watched the video that I published, I think it was two videos before this one, then you know the importance of making sure that you're staying up on trends in your particular space. More views! Trends can bring you a lot more views. If you show screenshots in your content for any reason, if you're doing tutorials, if you're reviewing anything or anything like that where you need to show screenshots, check out full page screen capture for Chrome. It basically captures the entire page, not just what it is that you see, but it'll capture the entire page. So for this one, I use full page screen capture or I'll use Fire shot. Both of them are awesome. Next on the list, if you want to make a really cool intro for your channel or you want to use an intro type of graphic for any of the text slides that you use in your videos or anything like that, then in that situation, you are going to want to check out Place It. They have an entire section on their website dedicated to all of the things that YouTubers need in terms of graphics and mockups and things like that. So you definitely, as a content creator, you definitely need to check out Place It. I'm sure you've seen Place It mentioned in quite a few of my videos recently. So if you haven't checked them out yet, you definitely need to. Next on the list is something that I personally made myself, which I think personally made myself pretty much means the same thing. But anyway, it's a content planner that works with the GoodNotes app. And within this content planner, you can set goals, you can do monthly recaps, you can also literally write out the content that you're wanting to make. You can even draw little arrows to content that you're going to link together, all types of really, really cool stuff. The planner is designed around how I make content and the things that I find important when I'm planning content and things like that. But you can check that out at padplanet.com. And that's padplan it with an I, not pad planet like out in space. If you've been streaming a lot lately or you're new to live streaming and you found the whole process of live streaming to be complicated and you're like, oh my gosh, there's just so much involved with setting up all these scenes and doing all these complicated things, then you'll wanna check out StreamYard. StreamYard is a web-based streaming service that makes live streaming crazy easy. I've actually been using it a lot lately when I do my group live streams on Saturdays. Oh, and those live streams, they happen every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So as long as you're awake, make sure that you swing by and get your YouTube questions answered 
answered during Nimmin Live. But anyway, with StreamYard, another really cool thing about it is it takes the complicated part out of bringing other guests onto your show. So for example, if I wanted to have somebody come on the show, which I do, I just send a link out, I drop that link in Facebook, and then anybody that's in that Facebook group can join anytime they want. And there's no complicated setup, there's no complicated thing that you have to do in order to pull them in. They literally click on the link, and then you just approve them, and then they come right into the stream. It's pretty awesome. Do you need music for your videos, but you don't want to spend any money? If so, then this next one is for you. As a content creator, you may or may not know, depending on how much you explore what's going on inside of your YouTube channel, but you may or may not know that there is a free audio library put together by YouTube for YouTubers. It's called the YouTube Audio Library, and you can actually use the music that's in there. But here's one thing that I do recommend if you are going to use the YouTube Audio Library. The very first thing is I really recommend that you sort by attribution not required. And what that means is when you use one of those tracks, if the attribution is not required for the track that you're using, that means that you don't have to give anybody credit, which means that you're not putting anything at risk. However, if you download a track where the attribution is required and you forget to give credit, then you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble on YouTube. So because of that, you want to make sure that either one, you are making sure that you're giving credit where it's due, or two, you just use songs that don't require credit. Hopefully that little tidbit there just saved you a ton of headache. Since you are a YouTube content creator, I know some of you are using LUTs for your videos. LUT, just in case you're not familiar with what that is, it's called a lookup table, and it's kind of like a preset that you load into your videos so that you can make your color look awesome and things like that. For example, Vigard, the guy who edits my videos, he makes the videos look like this, and you can see that the color and everything, it just pops, everything looks good. But the really cool thing about LUTs is he can actually dial all that stuff in as a preset, and then he can turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. He can bring it in, he can make little tweaks to it in order to make sure that the video looks as good as possible. But anyway, Vigard puts together these preset packs that make making your videos look really good, really easy, and you can find those at his filmmaking store. I'll put a link to that and everything that I've been talking about in the description down below. And one more thing I wanna tell you as a heads up, if you are not looking into, or if you're not familiar with the idea of LUTs and how you can use them, live streamers can use LUTs too. So if you're a live streamer, you can also apply these through OBS and Streamlabs OBS to really make your live streams pop as well. So you're not just limited to video, you can use them for videos and live streams. So if you're trying to create that branded experience where everything that you're doing looks the same, then you can apply them to your live streams as well. I have all of these things listed and a bunch more over at bestcreatortools.com. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. To learn how to grow your YouTube channel, click into this playlist right here. And if you haven't yet, and you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.